Welcome to this short video tutorial on duplicating shapes. We're going to look at duplicating shapes in both Microsoft PowerPoint and Microsoft Word. They are the same, but there is a slight difference in some of the things that you can do. So let's take a look. In PowerPoint, first of all, I'm going to go to the insert ribbon. I'm going to go to shapes and I'm going to just choose a simple square and draw that out. Now, if I want a true square, I need to use my shift key. So let's start that again. Insert, shapes, square, and with the shift key, I'm dragging out a square. Now I want a series of squares on my slide for whatever reason. So the first thing I'm gonna do is press Control and D to duplicate that square. So Control and D duplicates. You'll see that the second square is kind of sitting on top of the first one and only the second square is selected. So I'm going to move that second square and to where I want it. You can see the alignment guides showing up at the same time. Now because I've just taken my hand off the mouse, the square is still selected. Now watch what happens when I press Ctrl and D again. Not only does it copy my square, it also copies the placement. So I continue to do that until I run out of space on the slide. And then I can select all of these by using my shift key and I can duplicate them all. And you'll see that it pops them straight on the side. I can download, I can drag them, not download them. And now I've got eight, nine, no, 10 squares all beautifully lined up on my slide. Now, obviously they could be text boxes with text in, they could be colored differently. It's up to you what you do with them. So how do we do that in Word? Here I am inside my Word document. I'll click insert, I'll go to shapes. This time I'll do an oval. If I want a circle, again, I'll use the shift key. And now I've got my circle. Control and D will duplicate that circle and now I can place it where I want. But notice there are no alignment guides to show here. And if we go to the root, root view ribbon, we can add grid lines, uh, which to be honest, I can't see. But there are, no, um, there are no alignment guides in Microsoft Word. Now, if I press Ctrl and D again, you'll see that in Word, it simply places the shape on top of the previous one. And so if I do that again, I'm gonna to have to align them myself. So I'm going to use the shift key to select them all. I'm going to come to shape format, align, and I'm going to choose, first of all, distribute horizontally. That means that they're equally distributed. And I'm going to align them to the top. So they're all in perfect alignment now. So slightly more to do when you're working in Word than PowerPoint, but Control and D will duplicate your shapes in either application. If you've enjoyed this tip, Please do subscribe to the channel. Every subscription helps. And for more learning about Microsoft Office applications, head over to www.msofficemaestro.com where you'll find all my online courses. You can take the whole lot or just the individual ones you need. And there's a brilliant course there called Essential PowerPoint for the Savvy Assistant. And I'll see you in another video soon.